you know, the debt situation in the world has deteriorated, you know, quite substantially as a result of, of COVID. And, and uh, you know, on, on average, some uh, 10 percentage points increase in, in the, uh, the uh, size of debts relative to GDPs of countries. And, and this is one thing in, in advanced economies where we can, you know, or, over uh, decades or, or uh, maybe even generations can, can work down uh, those debts and, 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 and you know, their markets are, are willing to, to help us in, 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 in that uh, sort of bridging exercise or that uh, adjustment exercise. But for many emerging and particularly developing countries, those options are much more constrained. And, and we, you know, so, so we, we see already a number of cases of, of countries that have got into deep trouble in, in the part of the world where I am you know, mostly focusing on now in, in Asia. You can see uh, Sri Lanka, for example, Pakistan is coming under pressure, Laos is coming under pressure. All those uh, countries are, are really uh, suffering from the impact of, of COVID 